Right, so I'm going to show you how to make this trap called the Kennedy Deadfall Trap. Now this isn't my invention or anything, and I saw this on another YouTube channel, and I sent the, uh, the bloke uh, a comment saying, could I do a version of this on my channel, but I never got a reply. So, but I did say that I would give him full credit for it. So, his channel is called Mountain Man Survival Guide. So, Mountain Man Survival Guide, this is his trap, so far as I know. This is where I saw it. And he called this the Kennedy Deadfall Trap. Uh, he did do two slight different things. His trigger was a forked trigger, so one part of a branch and then come in two long forks and he used a deadfall weight, whereas we're going to use a cage and a single trigger. So I'll show you what I've got here, and that is, this is kind of like your upright stick. It's been shaved flat on both sides and it's got a hole carved about halfway down and a slot cut in the top we've got another stick slightly shaved a bit at one end could be a forked stick like he used and a small kind of knob of wood with a notch cut around it and this is very similar trap to a um, one of the bird snare traps, the Ojibwa bird trap or whatever it's called so basically what we've got to do is tie our string onto this one first This is um, cub cord, sometimes it's a bit hard to get decent knots in it. We've got a knot that tied on there. And then it's going to sit like this. And that's what the deadfall weight with your cage is going to sit on. And the other part, you want to thread through the hole. And then you'll see why I say it's similar to one of the bird traps. Because essentially, it is the same. So that's what we've got so far. Now we want to tie a knot on this one. And just have a look and see if you've got your knot in the right place. There's no, it needs to go further in. I might just do it. You want it so you've got a knot that will pass through this hole. See how it is going to go through you. Yeah bit tight though so I may have to make that hole a little bit bigger it's got to pass through there easy like the bird snare right so I've got the lighter and I've tidied up these ends melted that there got the knot right and slightly enlarged this hole a little bit so now the knot passes through with ease. And essentially, that is nearly the trap done or the trigger done. And then 
the stick gets pushed in here to keep the knot in place so I get the cage and then we'll try it so all I've got to do now is just I'm going to cut this one off cut that long length off there and then I'm just going to burn it with the lighter So this would work obviously like I said with a deadfall weight because that's how he did it as well. I might move the camera around in a slightly different position in a minute. So like Mountain Man Survival God said, when you do your deadfall <coughs> or your cage weight um, the upright stick has got to be above the end of the deadfall otherwise it will end up on top you see how it is here you know it's slightly it's just down you know what I mean so it works good but I tell you the only thing I have noticed and it's nothing bad about it at all but you need a fair bit of weight to set it off. So this is actually a trap, and the heavier the weight, the better. Now I did do this without this book on top, and it wouldn't set it off. Once I put the book on, it went off every time. <coughs> and it's quite an easy trap to set, really. You just get your knot, put it through there. Get your stick. I put it in, that's how I do it bring that over to there you can kind of set it up just like this lift it up hold it in place get your dead full or whatever it seems to just stay in place like that like I said the heavier the weight on these it seems to work the heavier the better Definitely works good. Like I said, here's one. It was a forked stick as well. <laughs> 